I'm not working on my robot full time right now, but I am building a robot. So I have a lot of cool ideas of stuff I can do with it. And I plan to also make money with it through not only manufacturing, but um, like probably one, one way is a YouTube channel where I do like comedy skits with it. And I can also do, well, comedy skits meaning like I interact with the robot and we talk to each other and get mad at each other, you know, drama. It, it could be hilarious, I think. Me talking to my robot, the robot talking back. I don't know. There could be funny dialogue. Another way to monetize it through YouTube would be prank videos. For example, the robot scaring people just at the mall. You take the robot to the mall and he acts really creepy and scares the crap out of people. Pranks. Like he can be a mannequin and then he'll jump at people when they walk by. Stuff like that. And same thing like Halloween pranks would be really funny. Like dress up dress up the robot as a scarecrow and then when people come knocking for trick or treat the robot like jumps up and runs after them. That could be really funny. So, yeah, I've got a lot of a lot of fun ideas for like viral YouTube videos. And if I do that, my YouTube channel will blow up. And then all the videos I'm making on my YouTube channel presently about the making of the robot, suddenly those will get more views because people are coming to the channel for the entertaining videos and then staying for the how-to videos because they want to after they see the robot they're gonna be like how did he make that and then they'll watch my old videos about how I made it so now you could say oh so uh, like don't you love robotics why are you trying to figure out ways to make money with the robot well the reason is I want to get married and have a family and I want to make my passion and my hobby a career and so the only way you can actually spend all of your time on what you love to do is to figure out how to make money doing what you love to do so, for example, I love kayaking, and I developed a product for the sport of kayaking. I invented something, and I sell that online. And so that enables me to kayak more and justifies me going out and kayaking because I upload videos of my kayaking trips, and then I use those videos to market the product I invented for the sport of kayaking. So I'm actually advertising my product. Plus, while I'm out there on rivers, people ask me about my product and I actually pitch the product to them so I get sales that way and the same thing's gonna be the case with robotics I did the same thing with video games um, I love playing video games but I couldn't justify spending a lot of time playing games when I'm not making money so in order to be involved in video games and the video game industry I had to figure out how to monetize games and I did that through developing a software system with artificial intelligence that plays video games and then I monetize that so I have a video game botting company that I started so I I try to take everything I have a passion for and create a company around it so I have three companies so far robotics video game botting and my product I invented for the sport of kayaking and then I kind of am doing some drop shipping of certain products online as well so I have multiple revenue streams coming in, and all of that is aimed at enabling me to get married and have a family and afford to have my own house and help my girlfriend pay off her bills. You know, being an adult, basically. As an adult, you have to make money. Also, streaming and uploading everything I do to YouTube is a way to make money while I do stuff I'm doing already and like one thing my girlfriend was worried about well she's my fiance now was that if I develop a humanoid robot I'm gonna be spending all this time and not making money at the expense of having a job so in order to solve that I was like what if I stream building the robot and I upload that to YouTube and so I'll be getting YouTube AdSense money, I'll be getting 
streaming partnership eventually, and I'll be getting subscribers. So I'll be getting money through Twitch and donations through Twitch, and that way, um, spending a lot of time building a robot won't be like, oh, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be working. You need a job. You need to make money. So if building the robot then becomes a job because I'm making money by doing it, then I can do it full time, or at least you know, a lot of time, but I still have to, unless the robot made enough to be considered a full-time job, it's not something I can do full-time, that's kind of my problem now, I do make a little bit of money from it, but not enough to just do that, like, <laughs> I would be making less than a homeless person begging at this point, but I think I'll make gradually more as my YouTube channel picks up steam, my Twitch picks up steam, and as the project itself becomes more in advanced stages, I'll get more money through it. So no, I don't have a job, unless you consider working for myself to be a job, which I have that. But but I'm fighting against having a job. I don't want to have a job. Because if I have a job, that's going to slow down the development of my companies. And if I don't develop my companies fast enough, eventually financial stress will force me to get a job. But if I can get my companies off the ground quick enough, then I'll be able to generate enough income to support myself and a family and have a house and be an adult, you know, have a, a, a reasonable income. So I'm in a race right now to develop companies and develop sources of revenue enough to where I carry my weight as an adult who is a contributing member of society making a reasonable wage without getting a job. Um, no, there isn't a hard deadline to get my companies off the ground, but there is a hard deadline to attaining a certain level of income. So like, I would say within four years, I need to be making at least fifteen to 18000 a year. Because I think that's the bare minimum of a full-time job for a minimum wage person. So that's the bare minimum I have to make through my companies to be able to justify not working and getting a job. If I can make that, then I'm at least making the amount I'd make at a full-time job, making minimum wage. So that's like my minimum goal that I want to hit by four years from now. So I'm trying to slowly build up my revenue through my three companies plus miscellaneous other sources of income. Uh, no, I don't get money from my parents, but I live in my dad's basement right now. I currently, I'm not going to say how much I make, but I'm building up each year. I'm trying to make more and more. And my goal is to make 18,000 a year or like fi between 15 and 18 because that's a respectable minimum wage full-time job level income so if I can get that amount of money then and sustain that year in year out then I've, I've made it and I won't have to work I won't have to get a job I will be at a point where I can say I'm contributing to the joint income of me and my future wife at a level that's acceptable to society. If I were only making, for example, 6000 a year and my wife's making 20000 a year and her dad found out or her friend found out, they would say, there's something wrong with your husband. He's not pulling his weight. He needs to be making at least fifteen to 18000 a year for us to, to feel that you know, he's not a bum dragging you down. That he is being a good provider and he's pulling his weight. So that's why it's very important that I get up to that level. And I'm, I'm on my way. That's what I'm fighting for. Now, does that mean when I hit 15, 18,000, I'm going to cut it off? No. That's not the, the maximum I want to make. There's no maximum. That's the minimum goal. I got to get there in order to be considered a respectable provider. I'm 31. 
I started branching off from working normal jobs to be an entrepreneur working for myself at the age of 26. So I'm five years into this. I've started three companies. And I'm not going to say how much I've made so far. But I will say I'm not yet at the fifteen to $18,000 a year annual income range. But I'm moving toward that. And and I'm, I'm doing good. I, I feel my progress is good. I feel that I probably could have been at that level now had I focused on just one company and one company only. But I chose to do three companies. The, take, the disadvantage to that is it slows down your income because now you're spreading yourself pretty thin. But the advantage of it is in the long run, once you get all three companies rolling on all four cylinders, then you will be making more money and you'll be less likely to fail because if any one company has a slow year or a bad season, you have two other companies bringing you money and so your stability will be a lot higher. One of the big problems as a small business owner is you might have great sales in the summer for certain products and in the winter your sales go to crap. Well, you got to keep making money, so you better have another source of income for winter time that evens out your income, makes it more smooth. And so it's better to have a few companies, I think. But it takes a lot more patience to start three companies than it does to build one company. Now, I am willing to hire employees and I have hired employees in the past, but you got to have a lot of money set aside for that. And you got to have a, a very good revenue stream in order to cover the employees' wages. And it's tough to do that when you're just starting out your company. Have you ever had a job or did you get laid off? Um, I, I've had like six jobs in my life. Six different employers, normal jobs. And all of them, I quit. Not like quit because I gave up, but quit because I worked a job for a while and then I moved or I had a better opportunity or whatever. I didn't quit like, oh, this sucks, I quit, or I hate you, I quit. Nothing like that, nothing dramatic, just normal moving on. So I've definitely been an employee for about eight or nine years of my life. I was an employee, but I'm full-blown entrepreneur mode now. I plan to make money selling things online, and then my three businesses, and then on top of that, I, I'll do a little bit of Uber driving to fill out any additional needs financially I may have just to make sure I'm hitting certain financial goals. I think that's a good a good opportunity for people that want flexible hours and just want to beef up their income a little bit. They have a lot going on already, so that's ideal. Uber and stuff like um, Postmates, where you can deliver people's groceries or deliver flowers or deliver people lunch in, in whatever city you live nearby. So stuff like that will be nice for me just to beef up my income a little bit if I need it. YouTube and Twitch also will be a source of income. And I have made substantial money from YouTube and from Twitch, but I'm still new to that. I'm still like a year in. My YouTube's up to 25 bucks a month, so that's actually happening. It's actually starting to, to um, make an impact on my income. And it's going up fast. A month ago, it was only at $12, so the past month has been great. It's doubled. And hopefully it'll continue at that trend. 